I left the Navy in, in 90, 92, and uh, because of the self-confidence, although at the time, uh, at the time of being in the service, I don't think I, I don't think I fully appreciated or realized the impact the Navy had on me. Uh, of of the the years that I've you know grown up, those are probably the most impressive or impressionable years that I've had. The four years in the Navy, but. Uh, when you go in and while you're serving in the Navy, you don't really realize it until maybe years down the road that you realize, wow, those, those things that I learned, those things that I did, the, the skills that I learned, uh, those, those are helping me now. So, you know, right now I'm, I'm a project engineer working uh, environmental restoration work and, you know, learning, seeing the big picture uh, of what your task is and what you need to do to accomplish that task and, and uh, the overarching goal is critical. The uh, tasks I did when I was in the Navy um, as a storekeeper where you get w woken up in the middle of the night to, uh, because part of the ship, the radar, whatever the system is broke and you need to, to process a casualty report and you know the, the, the way the Navy works which has been you know decades in the making is very efficient. They know the, the processes that they've established are superior as far as keeping a ship operational. So uh, you feel rewarded um, when you when you uh, when you you're part of the team. You process a casualty report. You get a you get a part that brings the ship back into operational status, and you can carry on the mission. So uh, that's how I look at it with my current job. What can I do and how can I do it in a way that supports the mission, that, that keeps it in perspective uh, of what the ultimate goal is without getting uh, carried away and getting off track one way or the other.